We have some massive news to discuss today as not only are the Toronto Blue Jays named favorites according to this report, but they are saying that Shohei Otani could sign with the Toronto Blue Jays in the coming days. So stay tuned for that in this episode as this report delves into the exact details as to why the two-way superstar might pick Toronto over the Dodgers very soon. So stay tuned for what's coming up next. What's up, Jays fans? Nick Goss here, host of Jays Digest, and we have a pretty wild one for you today. Over the past few days, we've been making videos highlighting all the latest Otani drama, speculation, and reports, and today is no different. We have a crazy one for you. Before we do get into the video, quick reminder to hit the subscribe button. We noticed about 73% of you guys who are watching this video right now are not subscribed, so scroll down, hit that button if you aren't already subscribed, as we are on the road to 11,000 subs, and we make daily Jays videos, and hit the subscribe button if you want Otani to be a Blue Jay. All right, we have some crazy stuff to go over today. Now, I will preface this by saying this report is crazy. If true, we are looking very good to land Shohei Otani, but it is not by one of the huge reporters like Jeff Passan. That being said, he seems to have some sources. So let's just not waste any more time and let's get right into it. So here is the report from the Globe Mail saying Toronto Blue Jays are the shock front runners to sign Shohei Otani this winter with the Angel Star ready to put on field success ahead of money and get out of the LA spotlight and he wants a decision before Christmas so this is according to the Global Mail now I will leave it up to you to whether you believe this exact report um, his name is Russ and he is an LA insider an LA writer so he's about based out of the Los Angeles area the person who wrote this article and according to them they have some sources indicating that the Jays are front runners to land Shohei Otani again put this speculation in your head and you make the analysis whether you think it's legit or not but I just want to preface that by saying it's not fully confirmed but it does seem pretty legit based on the fact that the two writers who were in it one of them based out of New York one of them based out of Los Angeles seem to be close to Shohei Otani's camp or at least close to the situation of teams who are bidding for Shohei Otani now let's get into the exact quote he says he feels that Toronto will be able to compete for years to come and he would be a beacon for other free agents to join him to create a winning team sources tell Mailsport and he would also be able to live life out out of the constant LA limelight and sources say that while there is some familiarity with the state of California after playing for the Angels since moving to North America playing for the Dodgers could prove to be daunting as the player values his privacy now this is super super interesting and again if this is true this quote and this as Jays fans we are super excited if this is true but again take it with a grain of salt but let's just assume it is true for a minute it is blowing up on Twitter he's a Los Angeles writer that's the last time I'll say that but just to make it clear I don't want to put any false info out there it's not fully confirmed but it is looking very very good now this does make sense when you analyze the quote so according to this person like I said he feels that Toronto will compete for years to come and a beacon for other free agents and of course the privacy thing now when we look at Shohei Otani and what he values we know he values winning and we know he values his privacy certainly because of how the procedures and the privacy measures that he put in place to make sure nothing gets leaked regarding the actual meetings with the teams and he values comfort when you were looking for, at the Toronto Blue Jays, they have all these things. And me and Peter have discussed this several times. They have world-class facilities. They have best facilities out of any MLB team. The Rogers Center is similar to a dome, which could be some of the domes that he played in his prior you know, baseball in Japan. And then, of course, they have, they're set up to win. Now, obviously, they've yet to win a playoff game, but you can make the argument that Shohei Otani is the missing piece for this Toronto Blue Jays team. And if you make that argument, you would not be out to lunch. It would make total sense. So when you actually analyze this quote, it really makes a lot of sense. Now, whether this is true or not, which I'm choosing to believe that it is because it is very exciting, he would be a beacon for other free agents to come here. And that gets me even more excited because maybe if he joins the Toronto Blue Jays, we could get even more free agents. I'm fired up by this quote, by this tweet, by this report. And more and more reports are starting to circulate, revealing that, again, maybe the Toronto Blue Jays are starting to turn into the favorites now. If you're looking at the betting odds and looking at some of the other reports, so let me know what your thoughts are on this report. We'll probably come back to it. But let's look at some of the other reports that dropped today, kind of coinciding with this. You look at Bodog's betting odds. The Toronto Blue Jays jumped from, I believe, plus 160 or plus 150 all the way down now to minus 120. If you're unfamiliar with betting odds, minus 120. That's a very, very good chance. You see the Dodgers are minus 150, meaning they are still the favorites, but the Jays' odds have been steadily dropping, meaning that there is a higher chance that the Jays land him according to Vegas. So... The odds are dropping. This report just dropped, which kind of shocked Jay's Twitter. Again, whether you choose to believe it is up to you. I'm just going to have fun with it and personally choose to believe it because everything is starting to point towards that. Brand new reports are dropping day in, day out. We've seen it for the past week, and it just seems like the Toronto Blue Jays are getting close to landing Shohei Otani. And at the very least, we saw it when he visited Dunedin a few days ago. 
He is taking serious consideration to joining the Toronto Blue Jays. He flew five hours as his last stop to see their brand new facilities in Florida, their state-of-the-art facilities, and that is something that a lot of players value the most, especially those coming from different leagues like Shohei Otani was before he joined the Angels in 2017. He values a lot of the atmosphere stuff, and a lot of reports are coming out saying that Toronto's intangibles and tangibles are kind of putting them at least neck and neck with the Los Angeles Dodgers. Now, we also have a couple of other reports to go over here. So this was from, according to Greg Amsinger of the MLB Network, this is his Otani sweepstakes. Now, he isn't necessarily a reporter, but he is tuned in with baseball, of course, being on MLB Network. He is the Blue Jays at 60% to land Shohei Otani, the Dodgers at 30%, and then everyone else between 3 and 1%. So when you're starting to put all the pieces together, it is starting to come together that maybe the Blue Jays could land the star. Now, again... Who really knows what Otani is thinking because Otani is the most private free agent probably in sports history, at least that I can remember in my lifetime. He doesn't want anything getting leaked. Nothing is really getting leaked. But what is kind of, this news is starting to come out from around the LA area, the Dodgers, the Angels, those are the two teams that are trying to obviously get his talents alongside the Blue Jays. And when you start to get reports coming out from the opposing insiders, like guys from LA and this specific you know article, it seems more and more likely that maybe the Jays have turned the tide. Now, if this ends up not being true and the Jays don't sign Shohei Otani, obviously it will hurt a lot. But I think when you're starting to put everything together, it's making more and more, more, and more sense for the Jays to land him, for Shohei Otani himself, and for Rodgers. We also had Steve Phillips, who was a former GM, go on the MLB Network and basically coincide and agree with this um, chart. He made it as well. He coincided it with Greg Amsinger. He basically said that, it makes total sense for the Blue Jays to land Shohei Otani, and he thinks that Shohei Otani is the most likely destination for uh, the Blue Jays, just because of all the things I already mentioned. So I'm not going to repeat them, but a lot of it had to do with the intangibles. And one final thing before we wrap up here now, because this is another report. This was from Simmons Steve, Steve Simmons of the Toronto Sun. Rogers dropping NHL rights makes Shohei Otani deal possible for the Blue Jays. Now, this is a wild article, and you can pause it and read it yourself. It is essentially talking about how the current deal Rogers has with the NHL, they may potentially drop that, so then the NHL would only be on TSN to help pay for this Otani contract, which is going to exceed $600 million. I'll throw it up for a second if you want to keep reading it. But you look at the bottom, it says the Otani contract, if signed here, would be in the $500 to $600 million range over what's likely a 10-year period. In other words, Rogers, the owner of the Blue Jays, would be paying Otani at most $60 million a year, depending on the bonus structure, while no longer paying NHL $500 million a season to be exclusive rights holder in Canada, which is super interesting. Simmons is pretty reliable when it comes to specific stuff like this, so if the Toronto Blue Jays are willing to drop Sportsnet hockey to land Shohei Otani, I am all in. And when you just put all these things together, the odds, the reports, more reports, MLB Network having him at 60%, and then this coming from an insider regarding the actual Rogers point of view and uh, monetary point of view, you really start to get excited if you're a Jays fan. And I think it's not only likely, I'm, I'm fully on board now, I think it is going to happen. So I want you to let me know in the comment section below, do you believe this article? And if you don't believe it, are you at least becoming more and more convinced that Shohei Otani is going to be a Toronto Blue Jay? Thank you guys for watching. This is, again, we're covering all the latest Shohei Otani news daily because more and more news is coming out leading up to his decision. And this one just dropped, so we have you covered with the latest news. So hit the subscribe button if you enjoy this. But I'm super excited, and I think Otani's going to be a Blue Jay. We'll see you tomorrow.